They're re-releasing the Black Cement 3s this year. It's the 20th, 20th anniversary yeah. or whatever. 30, I don't know. Um, and then someone wrote, it's safe to say that this is already the best shoe of 2018. So I just wrote under it with an asterisk, 1988. That's all I did. Yeah. And then all these people just got all upset with me, you know? And then I just tweeted, I was like, you know, it's pretty fucking irresponsible and just like, or not even irresponsible, it's just like, to call anything a year that in January is fuck. I'm telling them. Yeah. It's January is fucking stupid. Like, you've already made up your mind. Like, all you're really saying is that you've been waiting for this shoe to come out for so long that it tr that basically trumps, I hate to use that word now, but it trumps everything else that fucking what could possibly come out yeah. like fuck it like why don't nike and adidas and whoever else just fire all their designers like why are they even fucking still in business wait why don't you just reprint every, like you know what i mean like yeah. it's bullshit and it doesn't give any opportunity for growth or art or any kind of merit or anything like that it's just straight up like nope that's the, that's the shoe that's the shoe you know yeah. like and it's just fucking annoying but anyway uh let that cool off too long um it's just like a business to him you know he yeah. admits it he's like it's an affiliate link business so basically he just, any shoe that comes out, he posts an affiliate link. And he's got a certain amount of followers that, yeah. you know, he makes some money. It's a business yeah. to him. So he doesn't actually have a personal fucking opinion. He doesn't actually have any kind of fucking, he doesn't have a fucking leg to stand on in the yeah. conversation. It's, bro, like, why are you even coming at me? Like, I don't like the fucking, like, I love the shoe in fucking 88, 89. But this has been my whole shit this whole time. Like, I've been pretty consistent about, like, why I don't like certain things. And so for and then people just be like, Adidas is dead this year. Like, you haven't even seen what the fuck's coming out, dog. Yeah. Like, how are you gonna tell me what the fuck's dead when and I haven't even seen everything that's gonna come out so yeah. like why are we even pretending like sneakers is so much just jerking off you know like so many people in shoes just sit here and fucking like what is the word like project and pretend like they know what's happening and try to act like they fucking control the temperature of the whole shit like they don't and these motherfuckers just want the shoes to be hot so they can share their little fucking affiliate links and keep making their money yeah. and not have an opinion but don't at me unless you got your fucking name and your face and like a way for me to, to see who i'm talking to you know yeah. if you're just a business with a logo eat a bag of dicks i don't give a fuck you know like you yeah. ain't shit you're just out here for money and only money and that's the thing is like and these dudes all like come at me as if like, if Boost is dead, so you're not gonna be relevant much longer. As if there's not thousands of people who have bought Boost and hundreds of people who don't make content surrounding Boost and that like, I have nothing to offer other than like some fucking shoes, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's a personal thing with them because they think they want to see me fall. Like they wanna see Adidas yeah. fall because they, because it threatens who they think they are and what they, what sneaker, the sneaker world is. It was so many years of the same thing and like, you didn't have to like really have an opinion yeah. you didn't have to pick like you just it was one model or the next model or da, da, da. it was never this or that or this or that like it was never any like dividing line yeah. no one ever really fucking stood up and, like people would trash nike's quality but nobody would just come out you know i'm not fucking with this anymore it's the same shit it's the same yeah. shit i just bought so it's just been all morning and all day like people adding me about different shit and trying to act as if i'm out of pocket because i don't want to wear the same shoe as them you know it's like super weird to me super super weird it's well, been going on for like 12 hours. I mean, I get I get if, you know, it's just opinions on everything on it, though. It's like, hey, if you're into that shoe that's re-releasing and you liked it back then and you want to cop yourself a new pair, I get it. Yeah, but, but that's at the not same what the time, dude said, though. Well, that's what I'm saying. And, yeah. and here's the kicker. is homeboy said, I know you got into shoes in 2016, but some of us respect the history, and this is all about respect. And I'm like, no, the fuck it's not. And then he said, if they re-released the Cream Ultra Boost, you would fucking, you would, you know, you'd be acting the same way. First off, no, I wouldn't. I don't give two solid military fucks about the cream ultra boost i don't care i'll go burn my pair right now that's what we want to do fucking number two um i've been buying shoes since fucking 1988 when the motherfucking jordan 3 came out so suck another bag of dicks you know it's like you don't know what you're talking about you can at me and respond to me and we can con converse all you want but learn what the fuck you're talking about and who you're talking like you don't know shit about shit you just assume because i blew up around you while you shared your affiliate links that i just am just like i'm not jake paul I'm not I make content every day. When you make content every day and build yourself up a little platform, then you can have your opinions and have people fucking agree and disagree with it. But while you share affiliate links, just fucking take your little like $3.86 check off your fucking Jordan re-release and shut the fuck up to me. Like, why even talk to me? Like, is anyone gonna have a combination of words come out of their mouth that's gonna make me be like, you know what? 
I'm gonna go put on some old shoes I don't want to wear just so I can fit in with all these fucks. Like, it's not gonna happen. But let's smoke. Let's smoke. And let's talk about the fact that your uh, edibles yesterday had to be duds because I, I ate 150 milligrams last night and could not move. I'd like to talk about the fact that I'm just a fucking weed champion. No, you're not. You bought this trash. Sorry, Juana. This is fucking trash. These are not good. This is some wreck shit. That is not wrecked, that's medical, dog. 200 milligrams. That's on the medical side. You can't even get 200 milligrams. You can only get These are whack. You said these were whack when you were vegan. You bought these when you were vegan because they were vegan. And I said were, they were whack like I don't like them as much, but I didn't say they don't work. But Yesterday was a fucking lie. It's not it's a lie. lie. Look, it's falling. It just keeps falling. It's not a lie. It I handled 500 milligrams nope. like a champ. I think it was more like 260. And it's hard for you to believe that I am the No, uh, no it's not hard for you to champion. believe. I've seen you on 200 milligrams straight. Gone. Like I have old vines of you. Yeah, fucking well, looks like I stepped it up since I've been out here uh, in the Colorado. All right. Okay. So. Well, next week we're doing the real 500 milligram challenge. I'm gonna go pick up the edibles. Make sure there's no switch. You may have switched some things out. I didn't switch yeah, anything I think out. You did. I think you did. And then if I rock the 500 again like I did this week, and you can't blame it on the edibles, then I'll do a thousand. If you can eat this whole, if you, how much is the whole Rob, Rob Hots? 500. That's if what you it can is. Eat They're 10, whole, 5, 1050. Yeah. So if you you can eat this whole thing. I've got it. Then I will fucking. I don't know what I'll do, but you can't. This, can't. Will, this is gonna fuck you up. This is a real 500 milligram challenge. What you did yesterday was that, completely that, shit. I think not, you were scared. I wasn't scared. I it was the only place open. I bought fucking. I spent 80 the other place. The other place. Problem. The other place opened in 10 minutes. Here, I'm gonna eat 20 milligrams of them right now. That doesn't now. help me today. No, but I want to see if I can feel fucking anything because yeah, if you're I, not going to. Well, then I'm gonna fucking get rid of these. I'll go hand them out at a local school or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> We should get a new nail today. Yeah, we can do that. This thing is fucking toast. Also, what I'm thinking is if we play toast. Let's figure it out. Let's just smoke this blunt. Why are you going back in there? I don't know why. What the fuck? Here we go. This is what I need. Yeah, I can't wait for someone to snipe you in the fucking face. In this misery. You <laughs> just root against me constantly in this game. It's unreal. No, when you're playing good, I'm all about it. So sweet. You what? think you're a better gamer than yeah, me. I'm man. a pro gamer. If you weren't in the Twitch stream today, which most of you probably weren't, I mean, we, we argue a little bit. We get debated. Today we debated about Kodak Black and how Ern's a troll. You know, recurring theme here. He had a computer that yeah. he could try and play yeah. against me. I'm gonna kill you. Me so kill now him. I offered to buy him a computer today and he won't take it because he's straight up scared. No, yeah. So, what? You offered to loan me? Yeah, I'll loan you the money so you don't have to spend a single dollar today. Sorry, so I don't need but anyway, the way, the way he plays the game is he just like crawls around, walks real slow, and doesn't interact with anybody, and waits for like two or three people to get, be left so that he can pretend like he's good at the game. And some people in the chat even support this movement, but it's bullshit. It drives me crazy. I'm not a dick, but yeah, this motherfucker right here. Get your own computer and we'll find out. This week. So, yeah, this week. I'm gonna fuck you up. And your dud 500 milligram challenge. Next yeah. Wednesday. Next Wednesday, new 500 milligram challenge with real edibles, not fake sprayed these edibles. These aren't sprayed. Yes, they are. That's how they fucking put the THC like, on that's it. That's what somebody fucking said. Yeah, they, the, that's yeah. Strange. your weed challenge was a farce. Recount. Oh, that's so fucked we need up. To, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, I don't make the rules. You, I think you bought, Bush fell. You bought, did a 300 milligram challenge yesterday. That's no, what you did. No. And the others, there was just nothing in them. I mean, there, you maybe got like a little dusting, but once it fucking counteracted with the real shit, it didn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? I need you to come over. I need you to Tuesday. You need to have a dinner at 8 o'clock. You're not allowed to eat anything or drink any water until you get here. <laughs> it's like surgery. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Oh, now you're backing out of the challenge? No, I'm doing the challenge. Oh. Empty stomach. I'm fine, dude. I will rock 500. I'm almost ready to jump into a thousand now. Some people think, no, I'm not. Shake. No, no, Shake. no. no. I said milligrams. almost ready. Okay, well, you let me know. No. This, this handshake will be ready. This is when you're bullshit ready. that my 500 milligram conquering, because I did it with such grace. It wasn't gr grace. <laughs> you were definitely high, but it wasn't a 500. I ate 150 I'm and was. Gone last night. You ain't me, dog. <laughs> yes. Count my blessings every day. But still, anyway, speaking of which, let's go get your shoes. Let's go get a new nail. Yeah, I got a review to do. Yeah, let's go. The best pub. This is going to inspire me. I am going to be a pro gamer. I'm going to become the best pro gamer ever. It's going to be because you thought that I sucked at PUBG. And then you're going to be like, Ernie, you want to come over and teach me how you do that move? I love this fantasy world you're living in and shit. And it's a really nice story, but that ain't happening. By the way, I guess these Gatorades aren't really that rare and they re-released a bunch of them, but they stopped making Gatorade Frosts 
Uh, I'm pretty sure at one point it had to have. Well, they stopped carrying it where I live. And I haven't seen it around here, but we should go look and see. All right. You can buy it on Amazon. People have been hitting me up like, I have that Gatorade at my house. Glacier Freeze is a real one that I never could see anymore. All right, Troll God is at it. Troll God back at it again. I'm not a troll. You know what? I'm turn over a new leaf today. Oh, shake it off. Let me shake it off. All right, our new day, new start. Let's go. All right, we'll purple see. haze. We're gonna see how long we can last here. I hate you. That's why you're trolling. See, but I'm trying to be nice. You want to put on Kodak? So the behind the scenes, they don't see it. Why are you trigger me on purpose? Just to get my reaction. Turn it off. I'm <laughs> sad that my 500 milligram challenge is being called the hoax. Yeah, I'm sad that my best friend's a troll. <laughs> I can title it Ice Vlog is My Best Friend is a Troll How to Cope and Deal with. <laughs> It's yeah. like the regular ones are okay. Like you can kind of work, but those honey ones, you can forget about it. It's like you just drank a whole bottle of apples. You say it was our Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you soon. Oh, gee. Dude, it's. I. So. The girl at the front desk, her Instagram, and she's super like religious, like goes to church every Sunday, just is very, oh, I'm walking out and she stops me and she goes, love the hoodie. Oh, that is, and she, the way she says it, she goes, that is really nice. I like that. And I said, oh, thank you. And I was like, <laughs> like I don't want to tell that her. Was, that was one of my favorite things, though, about the yeah. Moose God Cross is that it got people to oh. completely drop all preconceived yeah. notions and they just thought you were Christian, so they treated you differently, which is fucked up. That's like funny. the illest thing. You want to talk about being a troll. Like, well, I feel like, I'm, <laughs> like I've tricked her. Yeah, that's ill, though. It is ill. Because some people will just treat you differently. Yeah. It's silly. Come on. Bring it. Bring it. So I went to the head shop. Shout out to Purple Haze. Because my nail, as some of you know who are weed connoisseurs, is pretty ruined. Also got a bunch of Dutch masters because the honey hemp wraps are just like not sticking anymore. So I don't know. It's just annoying. I don't want to be annoyed when I'm trying to roll. This, this right here, this cost me $200. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best to keep it clean this time so that I don't have to buy another one for a while. Oh, all right, thank you, Later. All right. Nice, here's a new one. There it is. I don't know why these are so expensive. Like, what is it about the Quave that makes it 200 bucks? Is it the quality of the crystal, the thickness of it or something? Maybe the way that it heats evenly or... Mm, look at that difference. We gotta clean this though, because this is not good. Get out of my fucking Jordan fan. <laughs> Take a dab. We have to Q-tip this. Yeah. Like we have to. That's how these get ruined. People who don't know, that's how this gets ruined. Like yeah. that. Okay. Interesting. I like the look. Right away I want to see if they fit though, because I'm already... Right away they look narrow. They do look, and that's why... It's like a pure boost in the fucking... Oh no. They're good? There's room. I know what I'm talking about. Yeah? What shoe is this shoe made after? The NMD. No. <laughs> the Abby Zero, you said. Right? Is that what you're talking about? But molded where? Like the bottom? I don't know. Um, and look, it's a suede heel cup. 
I like that. Dude, these are fire. Oh, they're fire now. Yeah, now they're fire. Now. It's interesting. It's definitely different in hand than I thought it was going to be. I still don't know. I'm still waiting for other colors. Yeah. It I makes like me feel like that juicy one. People will actually, the people who like the design on that juicy one, I'm just holding this like way into it. it. They're going to love it. Yeah. It's definitely not as bad like as I thought it was going to be for sure it's definitely thinned out though like you can just see and it's like super pure boost like the way that the boost tear drops out even almost like a yeezy it probably looks like a yeah. yeezy when you're standing in it it yeah. does kind of because mm -hmm. the front of your foot comes yeah, out yeah it does yeah. a little teardrop shit i don't hate it i don't know about this colorway really and i think this is for someone i thought this went all the way around yeah i was like not into it but the it's whole really half thing. Yeah, it's a different shoe. I mean, people can say what they fucking want to say, man, but like Adidas is not putting out the same shit over and over again. Like, this nice suede, I like. At least trying it. And even when I, yeah, that is nice. Even when I saw these, I wasn't into them. But, and I still don't really know about this colorway. But I don't hate the shoe already. All right, are we recording? Yep. Okay, so we have the NMD Racer PK. Picture on the box, there's plenty of them, shit ton of them. Head on over to the site, not a lot of people want them. I wanted them. So, we got them right here. There it is, the moment you've been waiting for. Look at those crystals on the bottom. All right, so, let me give you a little bit of um, information about the NMD racer. Now, NMD stands for Nomad, but it's just NMD. They got rid of the O and the A, Nomad. NMD. So, but this is an NMD racer, so this one's different. As you can see, it's a little thinner here. And um, this, mm, that thing pushes up in your foot. So there's a little more of an arch. And it's a little bit thinner, as you can see from the top here. But I um, half size down like I usually do from true to size for NMDs because usually prime knit NMDs, there's a little extra space. I was worried because of this that it wouldn't fit, but it still seems to fit pretty good. Um, also, which you may not have noticed on Adidas, is those white stripes, because I don't know. I didn't know they were there. I mean, I saw them, but they look a lot better now in real life. Um, just like normal NMDs, there is no insole, but instead of just the bottom, there is, you can't see it, there it is. But it's like a neon green permanent insole. Yeah, because you can't see the boost. There's also this on the heel cup. This is different. We've got this nice new um, block. They moved the block. Now these they kept here still represent the blocks that the NMD was oh so famous for. But now they've got this grip on them. Now I forget the name of this grip. It's quick grip, steady grip, some kind quick of strike. quick strike. Is this for running? Because I did a little research on racers. And in case you didn't know, racers are sneakers to race in. So they, um, <laughs> they racers are, uh, usually they say they are flatter in the heel area, which isn't true for this. Now, this is different than a regular racer. I don't I think they just put it in the name because of the quick strike and the ability to race. But um, really this has nothing to do with racers. This has to do with a wonderful shoe made with beautiful prime knit upper. Now you can see the stitching here is a little different than um, what what we're used to here in the NMD. We got a little one kind of pattern there that's similar to the R1. Kind of, not really. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> but um, flat. And then this is kind of like the 4.0, kind of like a sweater. But um, then the laces are nice, and then look, to hold the laces in, the lace holder holes, hold on, I need the light right here. Look at that, a nice little bulletproof Kevlar material. And um, I think that's it for this shoe. Now this shoe is the other side, very similar, as the you can see. The materials on that shoe? Oh, I almost forgot, sweet heel cup. Take a look at that, now this is very nice. Don't get it wet, don't let your dog chew on it. Be careful, it's suede. They make brushes for this stuff. I used to um, wear Clark's Wallabies and keep the suede nice. So just the heel cup shouldn't be an issue in you comparison. You probably be looking into the lens and not the screen. You're so, been doing that the whole time. like I was saying, <laughs> Here is your shoe. Um, there's also these nice pink stripes on the back. Now I'm looking right into this thing. And this is on the top. So, uh, 
I felt like I had a lot more history. I, I really planned this out a little better, but um. So what do you think about the shoe? <laughs> oh, what do I think? So I think it's great. I put them on before and I'm pretty psyched about them. They looked a little weird. They look cool though. They look like a nice black shoe with some hints of a little bit of color in it. So not too crazy, but you know, the subtle flex on the side there. That's, that's what I'll be doing. And yes, it's a flex, even though you can go buy your own pair right now on adidas.com. It's a flex because I like to wear them. Hopefully, I haven't worn them yet, but if I like to wear them, then that's why. And you haven't worn them yet, but you just told them. Well, I put them on my feet and I like them. I'll put them on again. Okay. Now they're on. Omar looks enthused. <laughs> <laughs> He's like that. You just put them out. He's like, uh. Continue the review. Now that I've actually worn the shoes for more than a few minutes, there's a few things I think everybody needs to know. They bunched up a little here, where it turned soft to hard. Bunched a little when I was walking, no big deal. Also, look at this, that's black. Yeah, yeah it's this guard for that, just like any other n &D. Oh, <laughs> I thought that something, maybe there was less heel because it was a racer, you know? Oh, uh, yeah. But, um, Overall though, I'm really happy. Well, there is less cushion because that, that piece is there. And the more that I look at the knit, I, I know that people are gonna love these. These are the NMD of the future. Okay. These are gonna change the game. Oh. Yeah, this knit, people, there's gonna be some dope colorways like you were saying, you know. It's just gonna, people are gonna bug. And even the juice ones, people are going nuts. I, I like those, you, you don't at all, I think. You want me to get you a pair? Yeah, maybe. I got maybe. you, fam. Maybe, you know what I do need though, is those, the next Pharrell's for Brandy. Yeah, I've got you there. Sorry. No. Sorry, Brian. No, she wants the black ones. Yeah, sorry, Brian. Shit. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> all she's been saying all week. Tell Teddy. All week? It's like in February. The black ones? I know March is the tie-dye one oh, she wants. So it's not even any time soon. But she's willing to take the black ones now as well. She's really becoming oh, a she's Pharrell willing fan. To, willing, willing to take them. Well, she has to settle. Well, not settle. No, she still wants the other. She wants both. That's yeah. it. I'll Tomorrow's see Friday. Yeah, tomorrow it's on. Nice. Then we got the drop on Sunday. Yeah. All right. So what are we doing Friday? I don't know. You mean tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so uh, I'll give you my quick little review of this, even though I can't give you a review of how it really feels or anything like that, because I, ha I haven't put them on my feet yet. I can tell you what I noticed about the shoe, um, and maybe some things that Iron did not cover. So this is the NMD Racer. We've now seen um, a few things about it that I just noticed like right off the bat. First off, the elasticity 
of the PK in this shoe is way different than any other NMD. It's thicker, it's it's way more taut. You know, it's uh, got a lot of torque. I don't think that's the right word. But yeah, there's just, um, it's, it's just, it's not as stretchy. Basically feels like it's gonna hold your foot in place a lot better than say like an R1. I like the comfort of the R1, but that's because it's a lifestyle shoe. This being more of a racer, um, I think it makes sense. And then the white and gray lines that are embroidered, I believe are just to add to the look of speed, as well as the upper having uh, different variants of lines adding to the speed. The lace, <laughs> the uh, Kevlar lace is nylon. I don't know why he thinks those are not Kevlar or bulletproof, they're nylon. Um, and yes, the stitching is on the outside. That's embroidered. It's not like an underlay. And then yes, so this little uh, quick strike trail that they called it. One thing that is super cool, and I wish I, this is cool because I didn't understand it, and this is one of the reasons that I didn't like this model when I first saw it, was I didn't understand. My first question was like, why would they do this right here? And then now that I know that there's a reason, and that reason being these two pieces are to represent blocks on the original NMDs. You'll even notice the sizing, not to scale, but makes sense, like the short brick in the back, the long brick in the front. And then, you know, this EVA plate in the back, which is obviously extended from the original but I do think that that is somewhat cool touch of the shoe as if like if you removed that from the shoe it wouldn't look that good either um, and then you know the difference being that this huge amount of boost bed not having the restrictions of the EVA plates whereas these are super close together you know like on an NMD so it makes the responsiveness of the boost a little bit less I think you're gonna get more out of this and you can even kind of look at it and see how it would make a difference so I'm interested to uh, get a pair of these now um, shout out to Earn for copping on faith because I do I'm more impressed with this shoe in hand than I was by pictures for sure I'm just waiting because I do know there's a lot not a lot but I know there's more colorways coming so I'm just gonna wait for uh, the one that I want, or the ones that I want, pop off on those. So yeah, shout out to Earn for grabbing them. These are those. I know he half sized down, but I feel like I'm still gonna go true to size on mine. But yeah, there it is. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. Panther drop on Sunday. See you there. Peace.